We're getting mad tonight. I'm getting angry. I'm, I'm gonna put my fist through a wall. I'm gonna hit my wife. I, I don't have one. I, I wouldn't do that anyways. We're getting upset. We're taking a look at a channel called Long Island Observer, but I think they should be called Long Island Stalker. <laughs> that one ahead of time could you tell yeah so this is another channel that kind of does auditing in a way not really uh auditing i've covered before is usually in the form of police audits where you film police try to make sure they're following the laws and regulations that they're supposed to and not infringing your rights generally i think it's probably a good practice in practice some people are kind of assholes about it and try to antagonize cops that aren't really doing anything wrong and just trying to make a spectacle of it for their youtube channel yada yada this one we're looking at goes a step further where they're not just filming police this person just films people <laughs> they just film people and antagonize them to try to respect their rights of filming in public which again i do like rights i like your right to film in public but i think after we watch this it'll be incredibly obvious their goal is to just piss off the general public and be a general nuisance entitled aggressive karen gets pepper spray reality check that's, uh, dude, I mean, you're still using Karen in 2024. I just, you're stuck in the past. Uh, and my stepmom was named Karen, was a divorce. I feel, I feel bad for her sometimes. Very nice woman. I got, I think back sometimes, like, you called Karen in 2024. I might change my name. Long Beach Observer, we're here at the Riveria Village in the beautiful city of Redondo Beach, California. Looks like this is a little community, right? We're gonna go right in. And, and even uh, his logo is creepy. <laughs> It's just a like a parrot with binoculars. I'm setting you up. I'm I'm definitely prefacing this a lot, but like <laughs> it's just I just get creepy vibes from this. Hey, how's it going? No, I'm okay, thank you. Can I ask what you're filming? You can ask, that's all right. What are you filming? Your beautiful store. Is there a reason? Um can't really disclose that right now. Sorry about that. Do you like a sign off sheet for us so that we can approve it? I'm sorry? So he cut immediately into her asking about it, but you have to imagine he's just kind of sitting outside the store with the camera, just sitting there. Well, there's going to be more interactions that show this, but just imagine that's what he's doing. He films a store, doesn't make it look like it's for B-roll, and then people come out and ask him about it. That's where it should end. He tries to film for whatever reason. They come out. They're getting like weird vibes from him. So he should just walk away now, but no, because that's not his goal. That's not his goal. He wants them to call hey, the police. Hey, don't call the police. Yeah, I don't know why she thinks I need a sign off. What? Sign off? Do I own these clothes? No. I can't take pictures of something you put out in public? Yeah, there that makes sense. Is. Just take a picture of women's clothes, man. That's, is that what you do? You just take pictures of women's clothes outside of, outside of Long Beach uh, uh, clothing stores? Is that normal for you? That's a typical day? She's clearly on the phone, so she is calling the police. That's for sure. Let's just zoom in yeah, way in there. The, looks like they've been around since 1981. All right. Well... Very cool uh, store. I can't wait to fucking ruin them on my YouTube channel. I can't wait to destroy them on my YouTube channel when I call their owner a bitch. Looks like they're calling the police on me for coming to take pictures of their beautiful establishment. Looks like things have calmed down here. Uh, uh, ribbons. What is it for, though? I cannot hear you from in there. Looks like she's saying something. I can't hear her, though. It's so noisy out here. Oh, I can't really discuss like that. Or no, I can't really disclose that right now. Well, why not? Well, I'm just choosing not to. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys getting mad? I told you you get mad. Are you getting mad? Because I'm getting mad. <laughs> now you're just being a dick. I haven't even shown you what this fucker's wearing. He's got on a ski mask. <laughs> Like he's about to rob your store. <laughs> She's being snarky, but she has reason to. You're just filming her business and you're not even giving her a reason why. Yeah, I'd be creeped the fuck out. It's not a First Amendment right someone? issue. You're creepy. You just give creep vibes. Did you guys call someone? Call who? I don't know. I did not call anyone. All right, cool. And, so she call, and she didn't even call the cops. So she's not even being the Karen that he desperately wants her to be. You see how your camera's already recording us inside? You didn't get my permission. What's up with that? And now here's where, like, I start to understand why <laughs> the police audits, like, I have way more sympathy, obviously, for police audits. But, like, even if they're not infringing on your rights currently, the police audits, at least, like, they're more equipped to deal with it. Like, they know it's part of the job, kind of, at this point. Regular-ass people working their small businesses are not expecting this part of the job to get into a, a legal argument with you about your First Amendment right, all right? They've, it's their business. That's all they care about. They, they don't need to get into the minutia of the fact that you're allowed to film outside their business into their business technically. Okay. They, they don't like, they don't 
you don't want you filming them. I'm sorry? If there's a child, they don't want you filming them. That's not okay. Why would your mind go to that? I don't know, motherfucker. You're being creepy. <laughs> Why would your mind go to that? Why would your mind go to what you're doing right now? Now her customers are scared. <laughs> like, it's like, are you really gonna blame her? It's not just her now, her customers. Fear mongered everybody in that car and now they're leaving. <laughs> fear mongered. <laughs> she created fear for that family, that poor family. This girl's a little confused, obviously. It's okay, 80% of the time, they're just ignorant, right? They don't wanna learn. That's okay, we're gonna move forward. Bye, girls. At least he eventually called it after he found out she's not calling the police. Can't really give him credit for that, though. I mean, <laughs> let's see what our bro is wearing, too. Now that we finally get a reflection, he's got hood up on top of a hat with a giant ass tripod and camera with a phone cable coming down because he's got a portable charger. That's the setup he's rocking. I, I'm sorry. That's kind of like that's that's different than just like a father recording in a business. Yes, the business owner is going to come out and ask you questions if you're dressed like that for a multitude of reasons, whether it's safety or they're asking if you're filming for news or something. You got a big setup there, man. I just keep watching this weird interaction where he's, by the way, sorry not to take away from this, he's just filming a dude at a coffee shop. I don't know why, just to provoke him. Trying to provoke the chillest guy ever. Good luck. I am loving this guy's energy. He is just basking in the sun, enjoying the sun, minding his own business, listening to music, right? Me too, but I don't think he is the right to judge because he's the one in the situation. He's doing this to people. I don't like when they have a good interaction. He's like, oh, this guy's chill. Like you're testing them. I, I don't I don't give you credit if like, oh, they have a good interaction and you're nice about it. I know what you want. I strive to be as relaxed as this guy right here. Oh yeah, by say, is he minding his own business? <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy just minding his own business. Something I will refuse to do. I only mind his business. Oh, great. Looks like we're, we're at the hook and plow. If you guys are unfamiliar with the hook and plow, uh, we've had a lot of things happen at the hook and plow. Looks like they've been around for 10 years, 2014. And if you guys are unfamiliar about what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. Throw it up on the screen, boom. Okay. So this motherfucker's been here before and has issues with people already. Karen threatens videographer for public photography. Karen freaks out over camera Manhattan Beach. So this dude just keeps going to the same businesses, just filming them from outside and baiting their customers. I would be pissed as a business owner if all of my customers are having interactions with this dude. What the, get your fucking emoji <laughs> out of here. So he's clearly been filming customers for a while outside and then she's trying to film him either to make him equally as comfortable or in case he does something. But they've clearly been enjoying their meal and motherfucker is just standing there saying nothing, filming them with the hood up, hat on, full tripod <laughs> extension display. He's gonna get himself shot. Not in the upscale areas of California. I wish he was, uh, I don't know, Camden, New Jersey observer. Try that for a weekend. Let's see how that works. Observe a different scene. See, see what happens there. Once again, this is the hook and plow. <laughs> Hi, can I help you with something? No, you're good, thank you. Okay, we just gonna have you filming like our guests. They're Who's kind of we? uncomfortable. Who's we? The guests are kind of uncomfortable that you're filming them. Oh, they tell you that? Yeah. Oh, well, that's too bad. I'm gonna keep recording. Is there, what, is there a reason what you're doing? There is a reason, yeah, that's right. Give me one second. Okay. What a dick, dude. So, I don't want to play his game, really. I did it with Chili in, in the legality of the filming the police in certain interactions. It was funny because he was still wrong, ultimately, but my whole point with this, and for them as well, is that even if they are legally correct, they're still pieces of shit. Like, they're still just being negative impacts on general public society. And that's what people love, going out and eating with their family and stuff. Why? You gotta ruin that for people. Just to prove some dumbass point on your YouTube channel. But I did look into it. Uh, it seems like California, where he is, we're in Long Beach, California, not East Coast. It's a two-party state, but that's typically for phone conversations. So all parties to a conversation need to give consent for a conversation. So if he was going to be filming from a little far away, and there's two people having what they thought was a private conversation, he has to mute it. All of that to say, where I do think I'm right, and he's wrong, is he's not blurring anybody's face. And this is being redistributed for commercial display. He's making money on this. This is a YouTube video. You typically don't have to blur a face if you're not making money on it, but he is. He's got ads on it. He also has like a uh, Long Beach Observer on Cash App. You know, that's all you need. So he is breaking laws that people could, everyone in this video could sue him for if they wanted to. Really 
I'm sorry? Is this okay, a PSA? Sorry. Technically, yes. If you're someone in this video watching this, please sue him. <laughs> well, I'm uncomfortable with them standing right there. But yes, there is no expectation of privacy in public. The same reason you can film at a convention without a notice. Yes, I agree with you on his basis. But who the fuck cares about that? Because he's filming in the businesses. Not illegal. Creepy? Absolutely. And then to be a dick on top of that, not tell people why you're doing it, and dress like you're going to rob the place? <laughs> yeah. No thanks, chief. What are we going to do about that? Right, let's watch his interaction. All. Yes, there's a reason. I can't really disclose that right now. I apologize. Yeah, have a good day. And everyone's upset. And everyone's upset, you know, just like, uh, is he filming you? Yeah, he is. We're filming him back. And now it's like a big hubbub thing. This is the third location of the hook and plow to kind of uh, hook and plow me. Is that a good one? I'm not sure he made the joke you <laughs> thought he made. <laughs> I wish they'd hook and plow you. No, sorry. I can't read lips very well. But it seems like the guy and the girl are pretty chill about it. It's like, ah, whatever, we'll let him do his thing. And the waitress is like, can we give you something off or whatever? And they're probably like, oh, it's all right. You guys are good. Don't worry about it. You guys are good. You guys are good. Come on, walk by. Don't worry. They're trying to, st they're trying to start a narrative, right? Fear monger. <laughs> the fear mongering has begun. <laughs> You guys want to see how bad it has become? Check it out. This is how bad the fear mongering is getting. Say hi to the ladies. Hi, ladies. Bro, you're the one fear mongering. <laughs> it's so crazy to me. He did this at the last business too. They're fear mongering. Dude, you're doing it. You're zooming in on grandma's table over there. You're the person they're scared of. It's the fear is of you, not because they're sh spreading a narrative. I don't even think they did anything. They just talked to the waitress who was probably like, "Are you comfortable?" They're like, "Ah, whatever." You're you're the inciting act. Here, you fucking creep. Holy shit. There's some shit to be scared of, buddy. It's a scary world. People hurt each other out there. People dressed like you, filming people, end up hurting people. <laughs> like, yeah. Let me zoom in on the grandmas. They're scared for their lives. And they're really not. They're pretty chill. <laughs> and that's the other thing. He's like, they're so scared. He's like, nah, dude, we're just we're just mildly annoyed. <laughs> like, we're just confused. They're the fear mongering has begun, and uh they're all fearing for their life as the camera approaches them. Narrating's on point, man. Thank you. Yeah. We got a compliment from this beautiful gentleman right here. He doesn't seem to like it, but he complimented it, our narration. Uh, thank you guys, appreciate it. Now for he, the guy's taking it on the chin, doesn't have to, but again, what he wants is him to freak out, so he's just like, all right, cool, cool beans. And he's like, well, I don't think he likes it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep filming. I'm gonna keep filming because I think he hates this. To the 80% of you that aren't subscribed, go ahead and leave a subscribe for the good narration. Am I right or am I wrong? Nothing weird about this at all. Remember, don't pull back from, don't pull back macro from this and realize how weird this is that he's still filming. Don't think about that. Just, just be really pissed about your first amendment right. Just be really debate brain. Think about your first amendment right and get mad that these people are upset with you. No, no, no. You guys are good. Come on by. You guys are good. Don't worry about it. And they have to clarify to every single person passing by that they're not filming like some promotional stuff or something. I know it's okay. It's called privacy. And I'm not even there. Like I'm I'm here in my room just watching it and I get uncomfortable. So how does he not have any social skills that make him feel weird about this? Um, there's someone out here filming. Uh my name is Karen. Maybe stick to observing though. Uh silly comedy ain't your for your forte. Yeah, it looks like uh everything's calmed down here. The cam back is still active. So you can leave. So leave. So move on. Hey guys, looking good. We got prior restraint. We got someone harassing us. <laughs> this is what we call Okay, all right. <laughs> There's gotta be a lot to say about this. Obviously, if I was there, I do think the best thing to do legally is just like let him sit there and do it. Tell people, you know, fuck that guy. Don't give him what he wants. But the guy has stood in front of the camera for maybe two seconds and he's harassing you. What is the standard? How is the standard for harassing you this? And harassing them isn't the fact that you stood there and stalked them for about 30 minutes. It just doesn't seem to add up. Uh, again, I don't have the exact bylaw, <laughs> but 
He's got to be in the wrong. <laughs> Even by his own standards. It's just. It's called up. harassment. We're going to go ahead and create our six feet. One, two, three. Six two. feet. We got this little creep. Don't touch my shit, because I'll punch you right in. <laughs> and the escalation is immediate. This little creep. Now he's the creep? Yeah. And he's, he's the creepy one. Set in front of your camera. Little creep. And now this is exactly what he wants. This is exactly what he wants. Someone to antagonize me. And thank God he's smaller than me. Thank God he's smaller than me. <laughs> Don't touch my shit, because I'll punch you right in your fucking face, all right? Do it. Don't grab my shit. I'm not touching your shit, man. Punch me. Punch me. All right, come any closer. Punch come me. any fucking closer right now, bitch. Do it. Come any fucking closer. Do it. Back to what was that? Five, ten seconds of blocking your camera? Not even touching it. Blocking your camera for you to whip out the fucking pepper spray that you had just on your utility belt like you're fucking Batman? Come on, man. And the guy's like, do it. Fuck it. Let's do a lawsuit. I want it. <laughs> do it. He's He even, like, as someone who probably ha doesn't know the laws of this filming and everything, he's like, I know this law at least. Yeah, do it. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'll sue you. I, I'm a manager or some owner here. Uh, yeah, end it. I'm having a terrible day. Come any fucking closer right now, bitch. Come any fucking closer. Back the fuck up, bitch. Back the fuck up. Six feet, bitch. Six feet. Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah, all right? Yeah, we, we, let's escalate it. Who wants to start some shit, right? Back the fuck up, homie. Yeah, all right. Keep that fucking dick. And he's the only one that's, like, freaking out. <laughs> Like, remember before, he's like, they're fear-mongering, dude. Oh, they're so scared, they're fear-mongering. He's the only one shouting at the top of his lungs, threatening to use violence, while even the guy who's about to get pepper sprayed, standing like a statue, just like, just do it, just right here. Other guy that he's been filming for 30 minutes has every right to be upset, comes over like, chill, chill, man, all right? Calm, calm down. Who wants to start some shit, right? Back the f*** up, homie. No. Yeah, all right, keep Surprise. that fucking distance, bitch. Try that shit again, I'll pepper spray you right in the face. Try that shit again, motherfucker. Hey, Try it again. I remember this isn't. <laughs> also, you gotta remember this isn't the first time he's even done this at this business. <laughs> Like, what, what would your options be as a business owner if this happens, like, once a week? <laughs> this is this is the third time he's shown there being an altercation right in front of their business. Like, I would, I don't, I wouldn't know what to do. What would you do about this guy? He's just harassing your business. He's causing customers to not feel safe there, technically, legally. It's like, it's such bullshit. There's, there's gotta be something here. It's insane. Get back inside. Get back inside. Yeah, can't good. trespass him. He's still on. He's on a sidewalk. You can't. You could. You could not let him into your establishment. But technically, he can film from outside. Again, he wins in some areas. Like obviously, but like you know. He got it. Don't worry. He got it. He just pulled the weapon, but technically in his thing, he did the harassment, six feet, self-defense. Look, I don't want to play defense for him. I'm just telling you that the guy is trying to do every legally way possible he can stalk and harass people. Again, look what he's wearing. Look what the fucker's wearing. Not even just the hat and hoodie. He had a face mask on, too. This motherfucker comes up to your business filming, zooming in on your customers. I feel not safe at all. Like <laughs> that's not that's not the look you do as a reporter. That's insane. He looks like he's about to throw a Molotov cocktail through your through your restaurant. That's how he looks. He's got the GoPro strapped on the front too. He looks like a domestic terrorist. Yeah, exactly. He looks like he's gonna just like throw some shit into your business. Yeah, you ain't gonna do shit for no cause, <laughs> like for no for no reason. Yeah, you know, you're gonna get arrested. That's right. Try something, motherfucker. Back to fuck up, bitch. That's right. I appreciate. I know what you're doing. No, it's all. It's all. Yeah, tough guy. Little shorty over here. Little shorty over here. You're not even six feet, my boy. You're not even six feet, my boy. That's all this is, dude. It's just a way for this guy to feel like he's important. Feel like he's the tough guy in the situation. That's all it is. Wow. And the only people here that have stood their ground is shorty, <laughs> and the guy you've been filming for thirty minutes. Get the fuck back inside, my boy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I pointed it at him. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I pointed it at him. That's right. Yeah, tell them how you approached me. That's right. Don't worry, she got it. She's recording it. You can go back inside, you little shorty. Try, homie, you try to harass me, huh? You try to harass me. You think it's funny. It's such a game, right? It ain't no fucking game. I'll pepper spray the fuck out of you. That's right. All right, quit it. yapping, you fucking chihuahua. Jesus, ch I like the Long Island Observer, not the Long Island Yapper. I didn't write that one ahead of time. I came off, that was off the dome. Stop talking, all right? Observe. Long Beach, fuck.
<laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying Long Island and and I'll be damned if there's not another YouTube channel called Long Island Observer who's actually like doing it really right and super respectful and super nice. And I'll be like, fuck this Long Island Observer. Get him. We got the wrong guy. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, shockers. Don't act cool now, dude. Don't don't shock up people up as if you didn't just threaten pepper spray for no reason five minutes ago. Uh, no, you don't get you don't get to throw shaka. Your shaka privileges are revoked, sir. I don't want to hang ten with you. You're not chill. So the, the police are on the way. Uh, waste the police resources, of course. <laughs> oh, you care about the police resources, huh? Uh, you that's what you care about. Like that wasn't your goal the whole time to get the police called on you. These these guys could be helping people. I could have left a long time ago, and this and this wouldn't even be an issue. I can't believe they're wasting police resources on this. We have an emergency. We have an emergency. Stop doing the girl voice. Yeah, it's such an emergency. <laughs> Just a little, just a little mad check. How mad are you guys? Oh. <laughs> did I, did I deliver on the anger of the tonight? <laughs> I like a, a little angry to go into your Friday, you know? Ah, you just, you just empathize so much with like being in this dude's skin where you're just staring at somebody that you just want to hit, and you're like, ah, fuck, I can't hit him. Like it's just, ah, just. That's why he wanted them to pepper spray him. He's like, give me a reason to fight back, please. Like that's all he wants. Oh, I feel it, dude. You feel the hatred. It's time for a little education. It's time for a little lesson. Oh, you passive aggressive. Four, five, six, prick. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. However many people are here, it's time for a lesson. And that would mean I won. That would mean this is a good day. If if I piss off 15 people, as long as I was right. As long as I was right. He's like a little tattletale, you know, in school. It's like as long as the teacher said I'm right, then I then I won. It doesn't matter that no kid in school wants to sit with me at lunch. I was right. The teacher said so. It's time to go back to work. Look at your poor tables. Poor tables? Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Where'd poor get in? Now I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, now I'm gonna kick your ass. Stalk me, that's one thing. Harass me, that's two. Call me poor. Oh, I'm, I'm sending you back to Long Island. That one was on purpose, because we are in Long Beach. I'm kicking your ass to Long Island. Other, other shore. I'm kicking you from, from west to east. Yep, yeah, that's right. Like, it's, except you guys want to waste police resources. Now, I didn't see any of this yet, but imagine he's just like the biggest suck up to like, oh, hi, officer. Oh, I wasn't doing anything. Oh, no, officer. I was just, I was just filming, uh, uh, like a, my friend's birthday. He left a long time ago, but oh, we weren't doing anything, officer. I, I love the law. Sources. He right, probably could be doing but <laughs> if he does, if he plays victim. Oh, he's so, oh. Doing a whole lot more. Well, you guys want to call the cops over a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the camera? You Who's in the camera? You Who's in the camera? You shut up. Oh, her voice is deeper than yours. <laughs> Chill. Now I don't know why he does the audio thing here. I think maybe if it's a if they think they're having a private conversation, you're not supposed to be able to hear it, but. You also still can make out the audio too. I don't know, maybe he's doing it so we can hear it better, but I only hear it worse, so I don't exactly know what the point of that is. Yeah, because you aggressively approached me. Don't approach me like that. I told you back up, give me six feet. Hey, can you, can you? I apologize. Talking to them. I don't want to escalate. You're right, I apologize. Let me stand over here. Oh, you don't, you don't want to escalate? You don't want to escalate? What are we at, 4724? Hold on a second, wait. I, I believe I can quote you on this, actually. Well, let's escalate it. Who wants to start some shit, right? Back the <laughs> I thought I remembered that. No, I thought I remembered that exact line <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Oh god damn it. Right, right. No, I'm not trying to escalate, officer. I would I would never. Oh, I wouldn't I wouldn't dare escalate. I don't want to waste police resources. What's going on, bro? These guys. Yeah. He came out really aggressively, kept getting in my face, putting his freaking face in my I was like, bro, back up, back up. Tell my six feet. He's tell him going. tell him about how you were filming for 30 minutes beforehand. He just jumps right into it. He just came right up to me, started harassing me and jumping in front of my camera. It was crazy. Watch how he harasses me. Watch how he follows me around after I tell him to not follow me. Show him, show him, girl. Yeah, perfect. So now she's going to show him the video of him following me around after I told him to not follow me. Uh, no, she's going to show you a video of the fact that you were standing there for 30 minutes. <laughs> she does have the video. That's kind of funny, actually. I forgot about that. I mean, again, he's technically right for the whole other stuff, but it will show, yeah, respectfully, just kind of sitting there. <laughs> Shut up! What the hell? All right, <laughs> that had nothing to do with any laws. He just told her shut up when she was explaining to the officer. All right, Jesus. 
What an asshole. See, you can talk to her nonstop, but she can't say one response back to you. Hey, you don't need to talk like that, man. You don't need to be rude. Yeah, she doesn't need to be a Karen. She's not. Yeah, you know, your wife is a Karen. You're sitting here being a- That's crazy. You know what's crazy about that one, too? It's because that woman has not done anything. She's bit. She put her camera down, didn't even say a word to him the entire time. That was the first sentence she spoke to him, and he says that she was a Karen? I don't even know what she did. She just- she just put, did the same thing as him. She put her camera out. That was it. So you're doing the same. You're on the equal playing field right now. And yet you, she's a Karen. You're She's the rude one. You're the only person that said a rude remark to her. Tell her shut up right there. An asshole. Yeah, she doesn't need to be a Karen. This guy's just a chiller. This guy's an ultimate chiller. She's not. Yeah, your wife is a Karen. You're sitting here being an asshole to everybody. Well, you're being an asshole by not respecting my right to record in public, you fucking assholes. We're all fucking assholes. Yeah, that's right. Yes, we are. He that's respected your rights, dude. They did respect your rights. That's the crazy thing. Oh, God. Oh, I'm angry. Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> Is this what he wants? Oh, God. Oh, he sucks so bad. Yeah, I think, I think six feet was the was the, the, the lane that you're on. Nah, you're good. This is a public sidewalk. I can stand wherever the fuck I want. Wait, true. Wait, what the hell? Now I'm confused again. He... <laughs> So what? I, I, that's a law I didn't. I didn't even look up. Suddenly, the law of the six feet. The guy got him in real time. He just got his ass in real time. Six feet. You're harassing me. And he's like, no, public sidewalk. I'm sorry. Were you not on the public sidewalk last time? Sorry, my my memory's getting fuzzy again. My memory's getting a little fuzzy again. Were you not on the fucking sidewalk? You can't aggressively follow someone after they tell you. That's called harassment. Like us, no, I'm, I'm trying to get this shot. <laughs> no, I'm not following you. I'm trying to get the shot. If you're just trying to get the perfect shot, if you're getting some really good content, then then I guess it's okay. He's just standing in front of me. Yeah, he's harassing me. That's how it works. I feel like we're being a little loose, wishy-washy with these words right now. Uh, asshole guy, I'm calling you that because he called you that, but if you see this video, uh, you should sue him for not blur blurring your face. Or send him an email for his ass to blur his face because he's making money on this shit. Uh, she minded her own business. She's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that person minding her own business. They're awesome. You <laughs> don't mind your own business. Can I just get the call ID? Probably the same one as before. All right. Oh, I get it. I just got it. I got it instantly. I got it instantly. Do you guys know what just happened there? Do you guys know what just happened there? Because I can tell you. Same one as before. Uh, that's the first interaction he's had with that cop, which means that he has interacted with this cop before for the same exact reason. And the cop recognizes him. He said it's the same one as before. Education was served today. A lesson was learned today. Everybody back to work. Everybody back to work. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Chop, chop, guys. Come on. Oh, you. Come on, my Oh, boy. I hate him. Back to oh. the bus, boy. Oh, it's getting so, oh God, this is so much anger. Uh, maybe this is why I haven't streamed in a week and a half, dude. I've been sitting on this for that long, brewing, letting this eat me up. Oh, to cause, to cause this whole issue, to cause this whole scenario, police resources, ruin everybody's day, and then, and then have the fucking arrogance to say, back to work, people. Nothing to look at here. Everyone get back to work. Something I'm not really familiar with. A concept I've never come to understand because no one will hire me. They say I'm not agreeable. Yeah, next time. Mind your own business, guys. Thank you, guys. You guys are learning. Classic, classic. I can't believe that's his tagline. I can't believe he said that three times in this video. I thought we were, I thought it was just gonna be that one time. He really does says it that often. Mind your business. Mind your own business. I'll be back here next week. By the way, I've come here three times already. I'll be back here next week. Karen, you're gonna be my thumbnail. Stay right there. One, two, three. Oh, beautiful. That's oh, kind of serving. Like that well, she kind of slid. Long Beach Observer, we're gonna go ahead and- <laughs> I wish she used that picture, she looked great. Why is his entire channel about filming people in a place where he has no business and refusing to stop filming when they ask him not to? How is everyone okay with this? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If this happened to you, to any of you personally, I believe you will also feel uncomfortable. Yes, and you can't leave work. Ugh, what they say? My entire channel is dedicated to filming in public space to assess whether that right is respected. Everyone is okay with it because they understand that if you expect privacy in public spaces, you must create it yourself. Well, here's here's the thing, all right, about that one. If we're gonna play on the edge cases here, you expect you expect public uh, spaces to be public. He does these at like these businesses where we're half outside. I'm in a restaurant, I'm in public technically, but I respect my space to be private at the actual table. I expect my conversations 
to be private. I expect a, a certain level of privacy there. And he goes into these places where he's out, where they're outside, they're still on the private establishment, but he can film people while they're eating and having conversations with their family. It's like, we have some level of expected privacy here of our, of our own conversation. And he gets right in there and starts recording you. It's like legally, yeah, it's an edge case. Morally, uh, go fuck yourself. You, what a, a loser. Oh, big, a big loser. I'm really digging into him tonight. Edge case? Yeah, that's different than a goon case. Read the law. Uh, have you heard of the Constitution? Or you only read the Constitution? We're look how insane to... this situation is. Just, no, it'll literally be two seconds, all right? Just look how insane this situation is. He's like with friends this time. All also wearing ski masks and hats. So at a go. bank. At a bank. Oh my god. Uh, the gall to be upset at people. When you're filming outside of a bank with all this camera gear in ski masks. So, so could you just step well, here while I use the ATM. Even if I got your PIN number, I can't do anything with just the PIN number, but oh, I don't have I your card. I understand, and, but you understand what I'm saying. Could you just, like, step over there? I can't do that. We have to stay right here until we're called away. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You fucking creepy fucks with no decency. No decency. Sorry. No, I can't. I can't stop filming you at the ATM. No, I can't do that. But I'm not trying to steal your information. I'm not trying to. I would never. But I can't stop filming you put your pin code into the machine. I'm sorry. My, my hands are tied. Beyond social skills, it's like anti-social skills. It's like someone says hi and you say, fuck you. It's just complete. We can't help you anymore. You know, it's, 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 all, it's not a lack of social understanding. You're just trying to antagonize. You're trying to do the exact opposite craziness all right now we're done i thought that was i thought that was funny i mean the the second one that, that little thing right there is just insane oh gunner please stream please gunner go live gunner go live oh gunner please stream please gunner go live gunner go live oh gunner please stream please gunner go live oh gunner please stream please